Welcome to your 20 minute yoga flow to support your thyroid. We are going to start today's practice with a short meditation. So find a comfortable seated position, keep your spine nice and straight. And when you're ready, close your eyes or find a soft gaze. Today we are going to focus on specific yoga poses which can stimulate your thyroid and its activity. So I would recommend this sequence to everyone that is dealing with an underactive thyroid, meaning hypothyroidism. You can bring your awareness to your breath. Take a long and deep inhales and exhales through your nose. Breathing deeply and evenly. You can keep your hands on your knees or in your lap, or if you want, place your hands on top of your thyroid and send all your loving and healing energy to this area. And now imagine. You are breathing in oxygen as well as light into your throat and allow the light to travel to your thyroid and release all its wonderful healing properties. Always remember that your body and your thyroid are not your enemy. They are doing the best they can to support you in every way possible. If you are dealing with thyroid issues, know that it's not your thyroid itself causing the problem, but external factors. Send love and support to your thyroid and to your body as often as you can. And with eating the right foods, practicing yoga asanas, and the right mindset, you can heal as well. Always know that your thyroid is on your side and it's here to support you and it's doing the best it can every single day. You can now release your hands down Take one more deep breath. And when you're ready, gently open your eyes. And let's start our practice. On your next inhale, you can roll your head to one shoulder. Exhale, move the head down. And inhale, roll your head to the other side. Throughout this entire practice, make sure to keep your awareness on your breath and on your thyroid as well. And then lower your head down, chin to your chest. On your next inhale, look all the way up towards the sky as far as your neck allows it. And exhale, look down to the ground. Take a deep inhale, stretching the front side of your neck and exhale lower. You can find your own rhythm here, move with your breath. And then gently bring your head back to center. On your next inhale, look over your right shoulder Exhale, back to center and inhale, look to the other side. And let's do one more on each side. Inhale, look to the right. Exhale, back to center. And one more deep inhale, look to the left. And return your head back to center. Beautiful. 
and then bring your right hand down reach the left arm up and over to the right for a nice seated side stretch and come back to center switch sides left palm comes down right arm reaches all the way up and over and gently return back to center and we're going to make our way into a tabletop position hands underneath the shoulders knees underneath the hips neck is neutral and on your next inhale allow the belly to drop down lifting through your chest look up into your cow and exhale rounding through the spine tuck your chin in come into your cat and just repeat this movement in your own rhythm inhale open and exhale round always think about pressing the mat away from you as much as you can stay strong in your upper body while you mobilize the spine then i come back to neutral tuck your toes under and lift your hips up into your downward facing dog finding length here in your spine and you can start to walk out your dog by bending one knee at a time allow your head and face muscles to fully relax breathe deeply now find some stillness in your downward facing dog keep your knees bent if you need to and let's take three powerful lion breaths you're gonna breathe in deeply through your nose and exhale out through the mouth sticking out the tongue two more inhale and exhale let's do one more deep inhale through your nose and exhale through the mouth let it all go and next bring your knee chest and chin down to the ground keep your hips lifted look forward to the top of your mat and then slide yourself forward come all the way down to the ground hands and elbows are next to your body take a deep inhale lift yourself up into your baby cobra exhale lower down we have two more inhale lift and exhale lower one more lift yourself up with the strength of your back and lower back down rest into the mat and lift yourself back up into your downward facing dog long and straight spine allow the chest to melt down to the ground and from here take small steps forward to the top of your mat you can bend your knees and fold over grabbing opposite elbows and just rocking from side to side maybe shake your head yes and no just release any tension do whatever feels good to you right now and think about the connection between your torso and your thighs you can bend your knees as much as you need to and for a deeper stretch interlace the fingers place them on your neck and when you're ready release the arms and roll yourself all the way up towards standing now bring your feet together take a deep inhale lower your hips down find your chair pose and exhale bring your hands to your heart Take a deep inhale here and exhale twist to the left find your revolve chair pose press into your palms and if possible look up towards the sky gently come back to center and twist to the other side twist from the belly button here keep most of your weight in your heels then return back to center and fold forwards come into your standing forward fold 
Inhale, halfway lift, look up. And exhale, step back into your high plank. And lower the knees down. And your chin and chest as well. Now slide yourself forward, come into your baby cobra. And exhale, lower down. Let's do two more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Now lift yourself up and find your tabletop position. Draw the navel up to your spine and keep your neck neutral. Spread your fingers nice and wide. Press the mat away from you. And on your next inhale, reach and extend the left leg back and the right arm forward. And then exhale, draw the knee to the elbow. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, crunch. Let's do a few more here. Lengthen all the way through your toes and fingertips. And when you crunch, round the spine and engage your core. And also tuck your chin into your chest. Beautiful. We have two more. Last one. Now hold for one more deep breath. Then bend the left knee, grab the toes, find your tiger pose. Lift the left foot up, open your heart, open your chest and shoulders. Breathe deeply here. Very good. Now gently release. And our next pose is Camel Pose or Ustrasana. So lift your hips up, tuck your toes under, bring your hands on your lower back. Inhale deeply here, open your chest, keep your chest lifted. Engage your glutes and send your hips forward as you arch the back and slightly drop your head back can keep your gaze all the way up to the ceiling and the second variation is to grab your heels with your hands and third variation is to drop your feet down and release the head back but only choose this variation if you feel comfortable in it and if your neck allows it breathe deeply in your camel pose feel the nice opening sensation here for your thyroid and to come out of the posture, bring your hands on your lower back, release your hips down and walk your hands forward into your child's pose. Let's take one more deep breath. And when you're ready, come on up on all fours and let's switch sides. On your next inhale, lift and reach the left arm forward and right leg back. And on your next exhale, crunch, bring the left elbow to the right knee and inhale, lengthen. Exhale, crunch, inhale, lengthen. Keep your core engaged and your neck neutral. Very good. And then just keep reaching for one more breath. And then bend the right knee. Find your tiger pose on the other side. Let's take one more deep breath. And then gently release the leg and the hand, tuck your toes under, send your hips up and back into your downward facing dog. Feel free to walk out your dog one more time, maybe shake your head yes and no, just release any tension, tune in with yourself and your body and just notice where you need to release some of the stress. 
Let's flow it out. Knee, chest, chin down to the ground. Slide yourself forward into your baby cobra on your inhale. And exhale, lower down. Press yourself back up into your downward facing dog. Take one more deep breath here. And then look forward and hop to the top of your mat into an upright seated position with your legs slightly bent in front of you. Hold onto the back of your thighs and take a deep inhale, open your chest, look up and exhale, round through your spine, tuck your chin to your chest. And let's do a few more here in your own rhythm. Let's take one more deep inhale and on your next exhale, come all the way down to the ground, release your head back and for the next pose, I'm giving you two options. Option number one is to extend your legs up and just hold here and breathe deeply. The second option would be to make your way into a shoulder stand, so bring your legs overhead, support your lower back with your hands and extend your legs all the way up. Make sure to draw your shoulder blades together so most of your weight is in your shoulders and not in your neck. Gaze all the way to your toes, breathe deeply and feel this wonderful effect on your thyroid, on your entire body. Keep your awareness on your breath as well as on your thyroid. Continue to send loving energy to this area. You can either release the pose or bring your feet overhead, find your plow posture, interlace the fingers, bring them down to the mat and just breathe deeply here as well. Let's take one more deep breath slowly round your spine and move your hips down to the ground with control and the strength of your core bend the knees bring your feet down to the ground and on your next inhale tuck your tailbone under and lift your hips all the way up to the ceiling come into your bridge and then exhale vertebrae by vertebrae roll yourself all the way back down repeat in your own rhythm now repeat this bridge movement or if it's within your practice you can take a full wheel pose at this point so lift yourself all the way up press into your hands engage your glutes open your chest open your heart relax your head and face muscles take a deep breath in and out can stay here for as long as you like and for as long as you feel comfortable. And when you're ready, slowly bring your body down to the mat, hug your knees into your chest and give yourself a well-deserved hug. Show yourself some self-love. 
make yourself as small as you possibly can. And before we make our way into a well-deserved Shavasana, we will take a quick fish pose. So come on up onto your forearms, lift your chest, make sure your elbows are underneath the shoulders. And if your neck allows you, drop the head back opening all the way through the front side of your neck. Breathing in and out. Keep your chest open, keep it lifted. And slowly lift your head, look forward and release yourself all the way down to the ground come into your final relaxation pose shavasana allow your feet to fall to the side your arms are resting next to your body your entire body is relaxed with every new exhale Imagine you're sinking deeper into your mat, into the ground. Keep your awareness on your breath. You can either keep your arms in this position or if you want, you can place one hand on your heart and the other hand on your thyroid. And just as we did in the beginning, send all your love, all your healing energy from your heart all the way up to your thyroid and back down. And just continue to breathe deeply. And very slowly return your awareness back into your body. Release your arms down, start to move your toes and fingertips. Reach your arms overhead, give your body a gentle stretch. And turn onto one side. Just stay there for one more moment. And when you're ready, come all the way up into a seated position. Take one more deep inhale, reach both of your arms all the way up. And exhale, palms together in front of your heart. Bow down to yourself. Thank yourself for taking the time. Thank your thyroid for everything that it's done for you. And I also want to thank you for joining me. I really hope that you enjoyed this practice and I wish you a wonderful rest of your day. Namaste.